Hello. Welcome back. So today I wanted to give you a little bit of an introduction about IIH and what's happened to me in the last few weeks. So IIH stands for idiopathic intracranial hypertension. Idiopathic meaning there is no known cause. So it does not mean there is no cause. It means there is no non-known cause. So doctors are still trying to find out what it is that is happening to me. In other words, we don't know why intracranial hypertension is happening to me. What is intracranial hypertension? Intracranial, intra, inside, cranium. So inside the head. Hypertension, same thing that blood hypertension. In other words, high pressure. I have three to four times the normal pressure of the fluid that your brain floats in. Hence, all my headaches, hence all my neurological issues, hence, most importantly, the fact that I am losing eyesight. And this is the most important issue because I'm already blind of the left eye and we want to make sure I don't go blind of my right eye. So we're clear about that. To make sure that none of these things, that I don't get worse, none of these things happen, I have to have a healthy lifestyle. Makes sense. I am on a lot of medication basically to try to make the fluid in my head, the intracranial fluid, come down, just like high blood pressure. Except my blood pressure is very low, which is kind of funny. And doctors have come up with a lot of surgeries, again, to try to deter the fluid and to make it come down. One of these surgeries is the surgery that I had no long ago. This surgery is called a VA shunt. V as in Victor, A shunt. Ventricular, para, oui, ventricular atrial shunt. I almost gave you another surgery. So ventricular meaning of the ventricles. So there are two ventricles inside in the middle of your brain that hold a lot of this fluid. So ventricular atrial, meaning the area around your heart. So ventricular atrial shunt. Why am I pointing to this side? Because you can put a shunt or a catheter or tubing on your right side or your left side. In my case, they have done so many surgeries on the right side, which is the most appropriate side to do it in, that they have started to do it on the left side. This is my first surgery on my left side. Why don't they usually do it on the left side? This is your speech and communication side. This is the most dangerous side. So this is my first surgery on the left side. So this is my introduction. So I'm gonna start talking to you and showing you videos of what's happening or what has happened in the last few weeks. I'm gonna show you the fact that I was in the ICU, in the intensive care unit, the fact that my particular neurosurgeon had a difficult time threading this tubing. Hence, I had three, I have three incisions. This particular incision, I was not supposed to have. I'm gonna talk about the fact that one of my incisions actually opened a couple of days after surgery. And I'm going to give you a couple of details like that. So just hold on for the ride. Thank you. Oh, one more detail. In a future YouTube, I'm also going to show you how I got this beautiful haircut. I have a video about that. So stay tuned for more YouTubes. I got lots more to show you. So now the story about the actual surgery. I was admitted that morning if there was a long delay, changes in surgical plan, etc. 
But finally, I was moved into, <laughs> you can see me here, into the OR and things moved very quickly. Here I am in the ICU. When I woke up, oh man, they kept asking me and my pain was 20 out of 10. You know how they say one to 10? Oh man, I was at 20. Yeah, well, you can see it on my face. The suffering, in fact, my face was partially swollen. It was a very difficult day. I spent several days in the ICU. You can see my incisions. I had three, one in the front, one in the back, you can see the one in the back, and then one that was actually not supposed to be there. When in my near very near my collarbone, you can see it now. But finally, I was moved to a normal room. Here I am smiling, still in a lot of pain. And this is when I realized that the surgeon, unfortunately, had had to nick my vocal cords. He actually nicked one of the nerves near my throat. And I had a very difficult time swallowing. You see a lot of stuff on my tray because I could barely eat. And I had a very difficult time talking. You can hear my voice now. I've lost a lot of my voice. I cough a lot. There will be more about this soon. I was finally released. I'm home. I have the nurse come, that comes home, a home nurse. I have physical therapy, PT. I have OT, occupational therapy, and I have speech therapy. So that's our story. That's my hospital stay. I'm very glad to be home. So I will post videos about my haircut and other information. But I wanted to share with you my hospital stay. Um, there will be a video now about my first um, talk with the, or visit with the doctor. So talk to you soon. Many hugs as always. Thank you. Bye-bye.